In today's video, I'm going to talk about live streaming and I'm going to compare and contrast two live streaming options, Ecamm Live and StreamYard. Which one should you use? Are you at a loss? Are you kind of stuck in between and you're not doing anything? Well, check out this video because if you are a minister, if you are an author, if you are a speaker, if you're a content creator, if you are a YouTuber, you need to watch this video and you need to check it out so that you can make the best decision. Not for me, but for you. And so we're going to run through them really quick. So if you know someone that would love this kind of content, make sure that you share it with them and let's jump in to the video. On today, I am going to be giving just a versus or a comparison and contrast to two great live streaming options, and that is Ecamm Live and StreamYard. Which one should you use? Which one is right for you? Because here's the truth of the matter. I get people that ask me that question all the time. Which one do you use? Should I use what you use? Which one is better? I think that they both are really, really good, strong, solid live streaming software options. But what you want is the option that works best for you and what you do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first run down the similarities between the two. And then I'm going to give you the differences and I'm going to allow you to make up your mind what you think is best for you. But I'm also going to let you know which one I'm currently using because I have used both of them and why I chose to use the one that I use. Let's go through the similarities first of Ecamm Live and also StreamYard. And even before I jump into that, let me tell you why you need a live streaming option or why people use third party software to live stream. I know you see these fancy videos where you see people having lower thirds in their video that has their names and maybe their website, or you see branding options in there. They'll have their logo like in the upper right or the upper left and just all kinds of fancy screens and fonts and things flying in, little movie options coming in. And you're wondering, well, I go live and I don't see those options. Those options are only available if you use a third party software like Ecamm Live or like StreamYard. So those options allow you to be able to make your streams pretty and engaging and keep your audience with you for a longer time period. And so let's talk about the similarities between Ecamm Live and StreamYard. So the similarities for them is both have free and paid programs. So both of them, you can do what we call try before you buy to see if you like the software, to see if it works with the computer hardware systems that you have. So Ecamm Live gives you a 14 day free trial period to be able to load it on your machine to see if you like it. However, if you choose to do StreamYard, StreamYard has a fully free um, service that allows you to use it the entire time, however long you want to. However, you will have StreamYard's branding in it. But if that doesn't matter to you, if you don't care that that little duck is sitting in the upper left hand corner or is it right hand corner, one of the corners of your screen, you could just use StreamYard forever or for however long they offer that service free. So remember Ecamm Live, you get the 14 day free trial. StreamYard, they just have a basic free service that gives you a small amount of services so you won't get the full suite of services and then you'll just have StreamYard's branding in your live stream. The second thing is that both allow you to multi-stream, which means stream to several platforms at once. So instead of having to do a live stream on Facebook and then do an additional one on YouTube, you can do one live stream and broadcast to both of those places, whether it is Facebook, whether it is Periscope, whether it is YouTube, whether it is, I believe now that LinkedIn even allows you to live stream. So those are the places that most people live stream. You could do that, what they call multicasting, simulcasting or multi-streaming to those. And both of those services allow you to do that. The next thing is they both allow you to put comments on the screen so that while you're in your live stream and all of your community or your friends are commenting, you can actually put those comments on the screen so that everybody can see those comments. So if you're asking a question and people are giving you answers, you can place that on the screen. Or if you yourself have asked a question that you want visitors to answer as they come into your broadcast, 
they can see what you're talking about at that particular moment. So I love being able to post comments on the screen and it allows for your friends, all of your fans, all of your community to be able to see their comments, what they're saying on the screen as well. The next thing is that they both allow for screen sharing. They allow for you to have guests on there so you could do um, interviews on there. They allow for you to have overlays so that you can make it um, branded to your colors, to your logo, all of that, and backgrounds as well. So where you see the actual place that I'm sitting, I could make that a background and you could not even see where I am. So those are benefits that they both allow. And the final thing that they both have in common is the ability for you to download a recording of your live stream. On both of the options, you can record and download them to use later. That's also very, very good. And so let's talk about the differences. What would make you choose one over the other? So we're going to run through the differences for Ecamm Live first. Ecamm Live is a Mac only software. Yes. For all of my PC users out there, Ecamm Live is not available for you. So if you're not in the Apple ecosystem, you won't find very much use. What did I say very much? You won't find any use of Ecamm Live. It has to operate on an Apple computer, a laptop or a desktop. That will help you make the decision on which one that you're going to use because if you're in the PC ecosystem, then Ecamm Live is not even an option for you. And when I say that it's a software that you can only use on a Mac computer, it is not cloud-based. It is a software that you actually download onto your computer and it is housed on your computer, which gives it a stability that maybe StreamYard doesn't have because it is a program just like you download Microsoft on your computer. It is not based in the cloud. So that's something to consider as well. It is not cloud based. It is an actual program that you download onto your computer. The next thing is that Ecamm Live offers what they call PIP overlays or picture in picture. And I hear people all the time that are excited when they see that little circle and it's you. And then you have like a background, whether you're doing a presentation. You can have a circle picture in picture. You can make it rectangular. You can make it square. You can adjust the size of what that looks like. And so that makes for a great presentation. Maybe you don't want to be the entire screen like I am now, but if I was doing a presentation and I only want it to be, let's say, a fourth of the screen and I want it three fourths to be the presentation, I can adjust that on my own in Ecamm Live. So picture in picture is a beautiful thing that Ecamm Live um, provides that is not provided through StreamYard. 4K streaming. You can do 4K streaming on Ecamm Live and you cannot do that on StreamYard. Now I will say this, that means you have to have a machine <laughs> that does 4K rendering. You have to think about internet processing that allows for 4K streaming. So that may or may not be a deal breaker while you cannot do that on StreamYard and you can do it on Ecamm Live, there are a whole lot of other variables that come into play when you're thinking about 4K streaming. The next thing is you can play sound effects and music through Ecamm Live. So if I am on Ecamm Live, I can have all kinds of sound effects, bells, whistles, hand claps, applause, sirens that live inside of Ecamm. So if I'm running an interview, if I'm running a show and I want to hear some applause, I can click a button and you'll hear applause. That is on the inside of Ecamm. I can even import those sound effects. I can import music. Now for all my YouTubers that I have the permission to use, I can import it and use it in Ecamm. So that is for me just a wonderful benefit that you don't see in StreamYard is ability to have sound effects and as well as music playing, music that you have <laughs> rights to use. The next thing is you can show your iPhone and your iPad on Ecamm Live. So if you're doing some kind of tutorial and you need to walk um, all of your viewers in through something, 
you can have a side by side walking them through that process while you have the talking head so they can see you talking and you can have your iPad and your iPhone on the screen while you're actually doing the tutorial, which is just if you do tutorials in any fashion, that is a great, great option. The next thing is you can have up to five people in an interview mode, you and four additional guests on Ecamm Live. That's a wonderful benefit. You can also use animated overlays. When you see um, people's lower thirds come in and it's just not a static lower thirds, it's doing all kinds of things. The name is moving, the logo is turning or twisting. You can do that in Ecamm Live and you can't do it in other platforms. You can have static overlays but you can't have animated overlays in other platforms like you can in Ecamm Live. And then again, you can actually record. And when you do that recording, Ecamm automatically puts it on your computer. You don't have another step where if you're doing a cloud-based software like StreamYard, you record it in the cloud, then you have to download it on your computer if you want to add enhancements to it. On Ecamm, it is already as you are recording it, it is being stored on your computer, immediately available right after you finish the recording. So before I go into the differences that we have on StreamYard, I want to know, do you live stream? And if you do, what software do you use? Let me know in the comments if you use Ecamm, if you use StreamYard, or if you use another service provider. We want to know what you use and why you like that particular one. So let's jump into the differences in StreamYard. What does StreamYard have to offer that Ecamm Live doesn't have to offer? Number one, it is browser based. Now there are pros to being browser based. That means you don't have to have a huge heavy software living on your computer. It is cloud based. So that means all the updates happen in the cloud. You don't have to worry about updating software on your computer. It is already updated, so every time StreamYard updates, it updates in the cloud and you have access to it. And again, I said you don't have to worry about bogging your computer system down with heavy software because it's not even housed on your computer. It's somewhere out there in the world in what we now call the cloud. Can y'all believe we're putting stuff in what we call clouds that we don't know what clouds they are, where the server is located, but it is cloud-based software. For some of you, that's going to be great. So to note that, that it is not native on a computer, it is cloud-based. The second thing that is going to be a benefit to a lot of people is that the multi-streaming is included. And so I'm gonna preface that by saying, while you can multi-stream on Ecamm Live, you have to have another service to be able to do that. Whether that is um, Restream, which most people use, that's an additional cost to have restream, multi-stream that to dip various different locations, Facebook, YouTube, Periscope. That service comes with StreamYard. With the, I think the middle plan for StreamYard, you can multi-stream up to three different locations. So that is in the price embedded in StreamYard already. So if you don't want to do another service, if you just want one particular service that can help you do all of that, then StreamYard would be a great choice for you because the multi-stream, and I love that part of it, the multi-stream is already included. StreamYard is pretty simple to use. Now, while I think they are both very simple to use, StreamYard is for the person that wants to get up and to go. Um, they don't want to think about anything. I just want to get it done. So quick and dirty. I don't need a lot of bells and whistles. I just want to be able to live stream with some of the bells and whistles available to me, but I want it to be very, very intuitive. StreamYard offers that. It's very, very simple to use. And next, StreamYard, as I've already mentioned, the recordings are in the cloud. So if you are still concerned about space on your computer, you don't have to worry about those heavy recordings because we all know video recordings are heavy files. They are huge files. And if you don't want to bog down your system with that, those recordings are in the cloud. They never hit your computer, so it doesn't eat up all of those, you know, storage resources on your computer because it is based in the cloud. Now, here's a big one. On StreamYard, you can have up to 10 guests. Yeah, one, two, three, four, six, 10. 10 guests on a stream. 
Now, I don't know why you would want to have 10 guests because to me that is a bit much. I don't know how long you'd have to have a show to have 10 guests fully participate in a show. But if you wanted to, it is available. Remember I said on Ecamm Live, you can have up to five. StreamYard doubles that to 10. So if you see in your future where you would ever need that many guests, these, I believe the, the middle plan for StreamYard allows for 10, 10, that's a lot to me, but 10 guests, if that is something you want to do. And the last thing that may be really important to you is that with StreamYard, you can actually mobile stream. With Ecamm, it has to be either on the laptop or on a desktop. You cannot right now stream from your phone, from your iPad. You can with StreamYard through Safari, stream through your phone or through a tablet device. So that is um, a benefit that they have over Ecamm. So I know I've gone through this laundry list of what's similar, what's different between those two beautiful softwares. Now the software that I do use, remember I said I've used both of them. I've used StreamYard, I've used Ecamm. But the one that I found worked best for me was Ecamm Live. I have been living in the Apple ecosystem for the longest time and I just love their products and I think that Ecamm Live works best for me. Some of the things that um, Ecamm Live has that you know StreamYard doesn't have, they may seem small to you but they're big to me. I love having animated overlays because I, I'm flashy like that. Look, I have my bling shirt. I'm flashy like that. I like stuff to move. I, I just like that. I think it is an easy software to use. It has a very, very low learning curve. So I love that. I love being able to add sound effects and music to my broadcast. I think that is funny, especially when I'm live. And when you're live, you have to do extra things to capture people's attention. So I love that. I love the ease of bringing things into my broadcast. I can have something on my desktop, a small movie file, and just drop it into the um, interface and show the movie. I love being able to do that. I love, love all of the things that we said, um, the devil is in the details, or I like to say God is in the details. It's the details I am learning in live broadcasting that make all the difference, that make your video stand out from others. So it's those kinds of things that make it just wonderful for me. And so I am an Ecamm Live girl. I actually started out using StreamYard and loved StreamYard um, that way. I've used Be Live, but for me, Ecamm Live just for me it has it hands down. I love the quality of Ecamm Live. So it's up to you. Which one do you think would work better for you? I think Ecamm Live would be for more of the creatives. The people that like bells and whistles, like all of that, like the flexibility that that allows. And I think StreamYard is more for the person that's quick and quick and done. You want it to look nice. You want it to look professional. You want it to look branded. But all of those extra frills don't really matter to you. So I want to know um, what you think from this video. Has this swayed your decision on which one you want to use? And if you want to just try them out, there are links in the description box that give you access to the free trials for both of them. So try it out. Don't let this year be the year that you stay stuck and you are in indecision. Try them both out. See which one you like and then make your decision from that. Just don't do nothing. <laughs> do something. Live stream. It won't kill you. People won't be mad if it's not perfect. Nothing is ever perfect. But you perfect things as you do them. So never be afraid to try. And so I hope this video has been a blessing to you. If it has, I want you to go ahead and hit that like button so that I'll know that this is content that you enjoy so that we can continue with this kind of content. I won't know that you like it. YouTube won't know that you like it if you don't click like. So click that like button. And if you haven't joined this community already, don't keep watching and not join us. Come on and join us. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and share this with someone that you know that is trying to level up, level up, level up their business savvy this year.